Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Chevrolet Sports Update. So the Jaguars issued an apology to the city's director of military affairs for saying that they didn't really comprehend, fully comprehend, the ramifications that kneeling in a foreign country might have. You know, it's one of the things when you get insulated in a situation like the Jaguars are at the stadium and you're the dominant kind of force in town and you make these decisions without kind of asking people who have been around for long enough and certainly um, it was a strategic error and they they made it now whether or not fans will look at that as an apology to the city an apology to the to the to the military in general i don't know but uh, if you are going to kneel for the national anthem and expect your kneeling to be respected as a protest then you also have to respect the fact that some people may perceive that as not respecting the national anthem or the flag or the military. So it kind of goes both ways. In essence, it's, it's a no-win situation for anybody there. And consequently, the NFL has now met with the players on Tuesday to talk specifically about what they can do going forward, how they can get pass this and start doing something. And I think that's the most important thing. I think the, the window for the Jaguars to do something on a grand scale is closing. And perhaps the best thing they could do, I think, would be have some sort of town meeting. I, you know, they had a ride along with former player Ernest Wilford, who's with the JSO. But I think that, you know, some of the players, particularly the players who knelt in London and who knelt prior to that and, and after that, are the ones who perhaps should be at the forefront of looking for solutions to the things that they are in fact trying to bring attention to, whether it's social injustice or, or what particular thing that they're protesting. Nonetheless, the league at least is now talking with the players, trying to find a solution, and I think that that's the first step in the process, and that's uh, where they need to go. The Jaguars themselves ended up cutting Jason Myers. You know, Tom Coughlin nor Doug Marone had any allegiance to Myers, and when he missed two long field goals, you know, they moved on. It's not, a, it's not that unheard of in the league. You're a fairly inaccurate kicker. You're probably not for long, as the league stands for. Nonetheless, the guy they replaced him with was out of a job until now. Virtually the same stats, but he's their guy, and that's a big difference in the NFL. They'll work to fix his inequities if, in fact, he has any. He'll kick for the Jaguars Sunday in Indianapolis. I'm Sam Cavaris, and that's the Nimnik Chevrolet Sports Update.